Hi everybody, well, I'm past Chicago. I've arrived in Cortland, Illinois, and I just got to visit with Alicia, Jake, and the baby. And this was the first time I've met Alicia's husband. So, sorry, it's not the first time. I literally met him for about a minute when he picked Alicia up from the airport la two, two Christmases ago. When we got off the cruise ship, he picked her up to drive back to Key West, Florida. That I was introduced as her friend, and he was introduced as her friend. <laughs> and that's that was the last, I, I, I literally just met him that quick one time so it was a little you know why you know why is this why is this guy coming all the way from ottawa to visit you kind of I, i'm thinking is he going to think that what's it going to be like and stuff like that and i i didn't have to worry about anything uh him and i got along great a uh, really nice guy i highly highly approve and um you know, we had a lot. He's a gamer. We had a lot of things in common. We had the same taste in movies. We had the same taste in gaming. Um, and so, yeah, it was a, a very easy conversation, very easy, fluid. They, we had supper together. It was a really nice visit. Got to meet the baby, hold the baby for a little while, and brought down some uh, some stuff left for baby clothes and stuff like that that I, I picked up that I wanted to give them. Uh, for the newborn, a little baby girl who is super, super cute. Mom and dad are glowing. And I got to meet Alicia's sister who was down as well for a visit because it was Alicia's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Alicia, if you're watching this video today. Or happy belated if you're watching it after today. But you should always be watching it the same day, Alicia. What are you doing? So, but no, um, yeah, it is. It, it was a long drive to get here. Um, I got up super early in the morning because I wanted to get through Chicago before the traffic and in case I ran into any bad weather as well. But I got through Chicago pretty smoothly, a lot of crazy driving, like, like this people zooming in and out of traffic, tractor trailers just cutting people off. It was crazy. Uh, so I got off the highway as soon as I could and got onto the smaller uh, highways and then at one point I got on like a, a small road that ran through the towns because I, I could I figured out how to get there in my head once I got to a smaller road I said anything heading up north is going to run into the highway I need to hit highway 38 because it runs all the way east and west uh, from the water so I had to run into this road and of course I ran right in the road drove into Cortland no problem got a nice hotel room here and went for a visit, spent uh, quite a few hours there, like eight hours um, playing with the dog. And uh, uh, I made, the dog was my best friend while I was there. So I uh, have a new friend who hasn't left me alone since I got here. Hey, Bandit. So yeah, and it was really nice getting a chance to talk to Jake, Alicia's husband. Uh, this is our first time that we ever got to sat down and actually meet each other and talk. Like she talks to me about him and she talks to him about me. And, uh, you know, cause we've been so friends for so long. It was really nice to be able to sit down and just have a chat and get to know each other. And I told them, uh, you know, they, they want to, she wants to bring him up to Ottawa because, you know, that's where she's from, wants to show him the city and things like that. And I said, you know, I, I come, come down anytime you want. My house is always open. I have a spare bedroom. No one's staying in it. Even if I'm on the road, I'll make sure you guys have keys. Just come on in, stay at my place until you're, until you're done. So, um, yeah, but in my head, I always think the worst to start off with, right? You know, is he, you know, is he going to be suspicious? Why am I there? You know, he knows we're longtime friends, but I mean, we're cruising buddies and this, she lived with me for a while. You know, 
in the bedroom. I was on the couch, folks. Yes, I was on the couch the whole time. Um, but I wanted to, uh, you know, I, I never, you know, Alicia says, oh, he's fine. He knows all about us and uh, how good friends we are and how we met through our, our, our mutual friend before and all this other stuff. And I said, I know, I know you're telling me this, but until I can see it for myself, you're a little nervous. But he made me feel right at home right away. And, uh, you know, we had quite a few jokes, mostly at Alicia's expense. Because <laughs> why not? Um, but I'm glad to see that they're both very happy and uh, very comfortable. And the baby is doing well, healthy. Uh, now I get to drive from here another 11, 12 hour day of driving tomorrow to get to Elliott Lake. And I'm hoping the weather, there's a weather front moving in uh, late tomorrow, early Monday. So I'm hoping that it's coming from the west and I'm ahead of it along the wake, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of coming, heading north, west, north before I really head east. So I have all this drive and then I have a short drive east. So I'm hoping the weather doesn't catch up to me. I hope I can stay that little bit ahead. Uh, we will see. In the meantime, it's, uh, it's on the road again. <laughs>